Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Saints of the Summer. Today is July 25th, and today we have another apostle, the Apostle James, the brother of John. For my 25th anniversary as a priest, my godson Brian Bishop convinced me to go on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of St. James in the Santiago de Compostela, on the western tip of Spain. You see, St. James, Santiago in Spanish, is buried there. We know that James was very active in the early church. He was one of the leaders at the First Council of Jerusalem, all described in the book of Acts. We know he was present for many of Jesus' greatest miracles. He was at the Transfiguration. He was there for the raising of, the, of, of um, Jairus' daughter from the dead. Um, he was considered a, a leader in the church in Jerusalem. And we also know that he was martyred. He was the first apostle martyred by Herod's grandson. The legend has it, though, that his body was taken to the tip of Spain and buried there in order to fulfill the gospel proclamation that the word will be spread, the gospel will spread to the four corners of the world. The people back then believed that the world was flat, and the westernmost part of the world that they knew was the western tip of Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, and so James was buried there. Now, his tomb became a place where pilgrimages took place. People would travel over the centuries, and uh, by the time of the Middle Ages, it was the number one uh, pilgrimage to go on to was to visit the shrine of St. James and to do it on foot. Um, I remember doing this with Brian and remarking that um, I don't know about these, these pilgrims of the past, but they certainly had a knack for wanting to walk over mountains instead of around them. <laughs> and I have to confess, I don't know how they did it without popping a few Motrin every day because Lord knows Brian and I had to because our feet were sore, our legs were sore. It was very hard. But going on this pilgrimage to St. James, though, is a metaphor for life, and let me tell you why. I remember on our first day, we're walking through the countryside and the farms look so beautiful and there's little herds of sheep. And it was October and there were pumpkins piled up and... Everything looked like it had been designed by Disney. We're taking pictures here and pictures. Everything is delightful. And then the next morning we wake up and we're a little bit sore. And when we woke up the next morning, we're really sore. And then the rains came and we began to do it in the rain. And then we started to walk over the mountains. And by the time those weeks were over and we arrived in Santiago de Compostela, we were aching, we were sore. Every one of our toes was wrapped up, blisters everywhere. And I thought about that in terms of life. When you're young, everything's new, everything's fresh, we're excited about it. And then the troubles come and the difficulties come. And we realize that we have to persevere. And so it is sometimes in our faith life. You know, we have a moment of conversion. It's all easy and it's exciting. It's like the childhood of our faith. But then the challenges come. Then the temptations come. Then the devil comes at us. And then it gets to be hard. And such it is on a pilgrimage. But here's the happy ending. When we got there for the Mass, I stood there next to the biggest thurful in the world, and during the Mass, it is swung to incense the entire cathedral. It's absolutely massive. It takes 20 guys to swing this thing, and it swings from one end of the cathedral to the other, back and forth and back. And I stood up there, and I had such a joy fill my soul. I felt like it was my ordination Mass all again, and I, and I didn't think about my toes, my ankles, my muscles or anything. I didn't think about any of that at all. I just thought about how happy I was to be so close to God. And so it is when we persevere and grow in our faith that despite the trials and tribulations of the world, like St. James, we too will spend eternity in the heavenly kingdom. 